Live across WA from the studios of Seven Perth, Susanna Carr and Rick Arden. Tonight, Heath Ledger found dead in his New York apartment. His Perth family's emotional tribute. We would like to thank our friends and everyone around the world for their well wishes and kind thoughts. A young and brilliant life cut short. As far as I know, he was on top of the world, you know, uh, had everything going. You're watching 7 News. Good evening and welcome to 7 News and we start with the shock death of Perth actor Heath Ledger, a death that has stunned millions around the world and rocked the movie industry. His naked body was found this morning in his New York apartment with tablets beside his bed. Here in Perth, his distraught family have described Ledger's death as a tragic accident. He was 28. Rani Sadler begins our coverage in New York. Heath Ledger was only 28. His Hollywood star on the rise and so much to live for. We, <clears throat> Heath's family, confirm the very tragic, untimely and accidental passing of our dearly loved son, brother and doting father of Matilda. Ledger's family says he was sick with pneumonia and his death wasn't suicide. That will be decided by the New York coroner. Heath's naked body was found on a bed inside his rented Manhattan apartment. A housekeeper had earlier heard him snoring. When a masseuse arrived at three in the afternoon, they knocked on his bedroom door and got no reply. Paramedics were called, but he couldn't be revived. There were prescription medications taken from the apartment. They included sleeping pills. Was they were not scattered about the apartment. You can see how much of an effect Heath Ledger had here in the US. Less than an hour after the news of his death broke, there are dozens of reporters and camera crews and hundreds of fans expressing shock and disbelief. I can't believe somebody so young and talented for this to happen is terrible. I was at work, which is like right around the corner, and there was a gasp of shock throughout the office. I see him with the friends like riding their bikes. He's always with his daughter on his shoulders, walking all, I see him like so much. Relatives and friends have been consoling his family at their home in Perth. Heath spent his Christmas there in what he described as his best holiday ever. Heath has touched so many people on so many different levels during his short life, but few had the pleasure of truly knowing him. He was a down-to-earth, generous, kind-hearted, life-loving, unselfish individual who was extremely inspirational to many. Outside the home of his former fiancée, Michelle Williams, and his two-year-old daughter, Matilda, signs of happier times. The couple met on the set of Brokeback Mountain and ended their engagement last September. Williams has told friends she's devastated, that words cannot describe how she's feeling. In a recent interview, Ledger spoke eerily about death and Matilda. I feel good about dying now because I feel like I'm alive in her, you know, but at the same hand, you don't want to die because you want to be around for the rest of her life. These are the last photos of Heath alive on the set of his next movie. I like that. He just finished his role as the Joker in the next Batman film. Producers say they're stunned and devastated. The entertainment community has lost an enormous talent, describing Heath as a brilliant actor. A sentiment shared by other Hollywood stars, John Travolta fought back tears. I'm, I'm pretty devastated over this because he was... Uh my favorite actor and my favorite talent and uh, I don't I think it's like losing James Dean in New York Rani Sadler seven news and as you saw in Rani's story Heath Ledger's family bravely faced the cameras today just hours after they learned of his death Grant Taylor joins us live from Applecross Grant what a tragic and difficult day for the Ledger family mm, Rick and Sue we understand the family first heard about the tragedy on the early morning Radio News. The details made international headlines before the family, half a world away here in Perth, could be officially notified. Now, as you heard earlier, Heath Ledger's father, Kim, described his son as an inspiration. Here's some more of what he had to say. He was found peacefully asleep in his New York apartment by his housekeeper at 3.30 US time. 3.30 PM US time. We would like to thank our friends and everyone around the world for their well wishes and kind thoughts at this time. 
Now all day there's been a steady stream of flowers arriving at Heath Ledger's mother's home here in Apple Cross. It's also been a steady stream of relatives and friends uh, showing up to pay their respects and condolences. There was also a visit from a funeral company, but so far no indication yet as to what uh, arrangements have been made. That's all for now, though. Back to the studio. Thanks, Grant. Heath Ledger had a meteoric rise from performing school plays in Perth to the red carpet at the Oscars, but he never got too carried away by it all. Rhys Whitby looks at the brilliant but short life of Perth's own Hollywood star. He was a Perth kid with a passion for acting. The Guildford grammar boy is showing his skills early as captain of drama. I quite frankly can't recall a, a, a production senior or junior or a rocker Stedford that Heath Ledger wasn't uh, front and centre of stage. Early screen success came with kids shows and Seven's Home and Away. I'll meet you down on the beach. Yes, okay. He wasn't in it, I believe, for the fame or the glitz. He was keen on developing himself to the best of his ability as an actor. Rough edge, good looks, Aussie cool and a deep silky smooth voice made him a Hollywood star. First with a teen flick, 10 Things I Hate About You. Can't take my eyes off of you. <laughs> Who considers me the next big thing? With subtlety and deepness that belied his age, Ledger achieved the dream of becoming a quality actor. You were right. Playing a gay cowboy in Brokeback Mountain signalled a potential Hollywood legend. We're around each other and, and this thing grabs hold of us again. Unlike the Tinseltown crowd, Ledger stayed down to earth, opting for a bohemian New York base and always keeping in touch with family and friends home in Perth. In fact, some of those mates from Guilford Grammar Days never lost contact with their movie star friend and he invited them to America for Hollywood A-list events. Heath Ledger could walk the red carpet one month and blend in with the Leaderville Cafe crowd the next. His Christmas break knocking around Perth went unnoticed. On one visit, he spoke to Seven's Basil Zemplis about the impact of fame. But my family and my friends, that core group of people, around here, that never changes. And as long as that doesn't change, you know, then, you, then you're fine. Ledger didn't always enjoy the attention, getting squirted by a water pistol at a premiere or fidgeting through an awards event. My publicist is like, sit on your hands. A very talented and sensitive person, uh, an artist really, and I don't think the media really, uh, you know, got to the bottom of Heath. Today, Hollywood mourned the passing of a young star who'll never reach his full potential. A tragic ending for one of Hollywood's rising stars. He was just 28 years old. My heart goes out to his family and his kid. He's got a little kid. I don't know. Just an unspeakably sad thing. Ledger's last role, already impressing critics, the Joker in the new Batman movie, The Dark Knight. A little fight in you. I like that. Then you're going to love me. He'll star again when it opens in cinemas this July. Reese Whitby, 7 News. Seven correspondent Rani Sadler has been following developments in New York. I spoke to her a short time ago and asked her what police are saying they found at the apartment. Susanna, police have confirmed that sleeping pills and anti-anxiety tablets were beside the bed where Heath's body was found face down. It appears to have been an overdose and police don't suspect foul play. The question is, was it accidental? And when do you think we'll find out how Heath Ledger died? The medical examiner will conduct an autopsy here in New York tomorrow to determine how Heath Ledger died. For now, fans and colleagues are remembering him as an outstanding actor who simply died too young, Susanna.